Hey there, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a quick unboxing of a bag I have been <laughs> meaning to pick up for a few years now. Uh, uh, several, several years. And I picked up a version of it a few months ago. Not too happy about it. Filmed a video about that. Didn't get very happy people with me about that video. So hopefully this one will turn out better. But if you want to know what I picked up, stick around. Okay, welcome back to my channel. My channel is about treating yourself to a little bit of luxury, whether that be your favorite fragrance, your cup of coffee, um, skincare, handbags, small other goods, all the lovely things that make us feel a little bit better about ourselves because we deserve it. You deserve it. Um, I love to indulge myself in the lovely little things that make me feel better. And this particular bag, um, I had been meaning to pick up pretty much since it came out, but, um, I got, I was just, I had like tunnel vision about the Pochette Matisse from Louis Vuitton and I wanted to pick one up. I didn't really want the canvas one. I wanted the on prompt leather one. I didn't know which one. And I just, I was waffling and waffling and waffling and going back and forth forever. And then this one came out from coach and I thought it was really pretty. The price was fine. I was just, just so kind of just laser focused on acquiring a Pochette Matisse that, um, I, I don't know. I just let this one pass me by. And by the time I was ready to pull the trigger on getting one, they stopped making it in the size that I wanted. So that was disappointing. It was hard to get them on the preloved market because they're really, really popular. And, um, I ended up picking up a, um, Cassie 19, so you now you know that this is a Cassie. Um, and the Cassie 19 did not work out for me. I filmed um, my unboxing. I was really excited about that. I got over Christmas last year. Um, and then I filmed my kind of final review, I guess, about it um, a few months ago and my, my thoughts and why it's not going to work out for me. I still have it. It's up there on my shelf. And maybe I'll do a comparison between the two at some point, but, um, it just seemed like this was really the one that I needed based on the information I had. We're going to find out if that is the case. I've brought a bunch of my typical items that I carry in my purse just to do a real quick, um, what fits in it. So hopefully I am not going to be disappointed. We'll see. I mean, regardless, I'll keep it, but I just kind of hyped it up and really was hoping to get, um, one in my possession so I could really understand if that was truly what I needed because I don't think I need the Pochette Matisse but I may still need that I don't know anyway I got this from the lovely Jolie symbol opinion she had a great vlog sale um yeah, just about a week ago or so maybe two weeks at this point um and I I pop up on the screen and I'm like sold I don't even care how much it costs just I need one I was I had so much trouble locating one I found a few of them on like Poshmark and some something about them seemed not authentic so I was just like I need if I'm gonna pick one up I want to pick it up from somebody that I either know or see if maybe they pop up on the um coach reloved the refurbished site um just somewhere that um i can be assured that it's not you know a faux coach item because yeah that that's just becoming more and more prevalent so thankfully miss jolie sent um this to me and i'm very grateful for that i've already read the little card so i'm very excited for um that but i have not gotten any further into just getting to the card and making sure that it did nothing had happened um to it in shipment and it is perfectly fine so um true kind of unboxing you're gonna get the first reaction of it um with me You'll hear the girls snoring down there because that's what they do. It already seems from seeing the size of it like it's gonna it's gonna work. So I'm I'm already excited. Oh, Vivian Westwood dust bag. 
I don't have any video investment bags. That's awesome. A good quality bag. It's very, very soft. Let me get myself a Vivian Westwood bag. Hmm. Nice. The card had mentioned that she, um, the dust bag that came with it, unfortunately, was not doing well. <laughs> so she didn't want to pass that along to me, and that's perfectly fine. I, as long as it fits, I will use whatever dust bag I have. So, and first look. Oh, I'm so excited. Now it comes across, um, so when it first came on the screen and her video, I, um, or her vlog sale, excuse me, it looked black and I was like, perfect, perfect. But it's actually a really, really dark, um, green color, but even like against my, um, I'm wearing purple and gray today. I still think it comes off really, it's such a deep green color that it, it's just like, you know, how black has those different tones. Like I used to dye my hair blue black. So it looked black in most light, except for when you went out in the sun and you saw the blue tones. And then there's of course like a, a more like a brown black, reddish black, that kind of thing. So it almost is like that, where if I go outside, you're going to see the more, um, the tones come out and have it be more green. But I think it's actually quite, um, flexible what's the word I'm looking for I'll put it up on the screen <laughs> chameleon it's a chameleon um type of tone and I really really love the hardware that that is gorgeous so um in my the Cassie 19 it comes with a plethora of straps which seemed ideal but for me they didn't really work very well I carried it top handle the chain was just kind of decorative it didn't really do anything um but I really liked the crossbody strap the most so the the top handle was just a little bit too big so I I really had been wanting or longing for this style this this kind of just really close to almost um clutch like type of aspect to that so for that for a top handle I just really liked that style and it's very much what the Pachette Matisse has um, and then I know there's a strap inside so that right there is perfect and then oh yes there's my my giant cell phone <laughs> it's gonna fit it's gonna be fabulous so I'm just like oh giddy giddy scroll girl oh uh, anyway so um let's just do a quick there's no feet um which i don't believe the cassie 19 had feet either so no feet this pocket on the back is the same um mentioned the straps are different other than that i think everything else um design wise is pretty much the same so let's do some quick measurements and then I'll put the, the difference between the two on the screen. So this one is 10 inches across and then about seven, well, yeah, seven and a half tall and about two and a half at the bottom wide for inches, about an inch almost two inches at the top up here. So anywho, there is the measurements. Let's go in. Oh, there's something inside. What? I have a surprise. Okay. Did she mean to send this? Did you mean to send this? <laughs> to ask. Oh, it's a cute little bag. I think it's holding the strap. It must be holding the strap. Thank you. You didn't have to. That's so kind of you. So a cute little storage bag for the strap. And here is the crossbody strap. We will go ahead and attach this. So we see, I'm really digging this dark hardware. I, I'm, I love like hematite and, and just dark, dark hardware. That is so pretty. So nice adjustable um, strap, 
pretty decent, just say about an, about an inch or so, maybe three quarter inch wide, several adjustments. It's on its shortest right now. And there are, let's see here, one, two, three, four, five, six more. I could make it longer. I'm going to stand up like that. You're not going to see me completely in frame, but shoulder hits my waist if I do it on its shortest right now. Even that's not too bad. It's kind of high, but I probably go down like one, maybe two notches. So it's a little bit more easy to see, but that's actually not too bad. So anywho, um, all right, so let's get in here and see some more tissue paper the inside. So there are three compartments like the um, Pachette Matisse um, and also the Cassie 19. So in the very back, it's just an open area. In the center, there is a slip pocket here in the front and a zip pocket on the back where the Creed is. And then the front is also an open, open area. And I did think I mentioned that there's a slip on the back. So let's load her up and see. So I've got my, my iPhone 14 Pro Max. This is my typical wallet that I use. It's the um, Felici insert. It's like just slides on in there. This is my um, Epi pochette. Put that in there. It's my catch-all. It has all of my um, little fragrances, lipstick, whatever, you know, in there. Um, Fendi sunglasses because my St. Laurent ones are actually in the car right now. So I didn't have those, but those are the ones I've been carrying recently, but this is a similar, um, size case. This is the word I'm looking for. So we'll put those in there as well. Let's try, let's actually do phone in the back, sunglasses in the front. Coin also with those and then keys and to put nothing in the back yet everything's in the front so the sunglasses are making it stretch a little bit here i might rearrange a few of these items but even so it latches just fine a little bit just awkward the protrusion there with the the glasses i might just carry a different pair with that the saint laurent case is not as um it's soft it's not as angular as this one this one's like actually a hard case whereas the saint laurent's like just like a fold over hard leather but it's not um it's not as restrictive as this one is, is what i'm trying to say so it would feel fit in here a lot nicer um overall Actually, let's try it this way. Maybe it'll look a little bit better. Yeah, that way it fits a little bit better. But everything fits, so that is great. Yeah. Okay, okay. So anyway, <laughs> just like I'm beyond excited. So that is awesome. Okay. Okay. So I'm so happy that my instinct was right. I knew that this one was the one I should have gotten. I should not have picked, purchased the Cassie 19. Should I sell my Cassie 19? Because I probably will never carry her now that I have this one. It doesn't seem like something I should keep, but at the same time, it's a true black one. It has gold hardware. This one isn't. Oh, oh, hard choices. Um, ah, wow. Okay. Well, anyway, thank you, Jolie. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so happy to have one. Oh my gosh. Yes. I don't think I'm going to need a push up Matisse. Honestly, I mean, I, I think they're beautiful. I love their, um, I love the emprunt leather. So, I mean, that, that's always been something that's like near and dear to my heart. My fleeces and that leather. I have a, um, Mesitidine, I can't say that very, very well, is also an emprunt. Um, so I'm very fond of that leather and so I'm fond of the style of bags. So I can't say I would never, ever, but I don't have to. That's that's the key. I don't have to get one, but I certainly, um, if one comes along at the right price, um, 
definitely would consider it because I like the style of bag. I really enjoy that top handle. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh my goodness. I'm just, I'm so excited. Thank you, Jolie. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited to have this in my collection. I can't wait to start wearing it. Oh, I've already, I, you know, I've already, I do my bag swap once a week. So I've already got my, my bag picked out for the week when I'm wearing back. <laughs> Using it. Uh, it's just gonna go maybe I'll use it next week but I've got a couple other bags that I purchased down there I'm gonna get into that conversation in the next like either the next video or the next couple um in a couple weeks where when when we're, we're doing some shopping and you know maybe it's time to to rein things in but even when you find things at great deals things you've been looking for for quite some time you can't you can't help but pick up something especially um you know from someone that loved a bag knows and appreciates the bags and you know is passing it on to another bag lover that's the best best way to to get the the item so thank you julie i really appreciate it and go watch all of her content she does great content on uh planners and that type of um weekly um like lives and things so we can watch that kind of and she has she has plants um gardening which i'm horrible at she's an expert um and of course our, our love of, of handbags and, and things but um yeah check out her channel and she's a great person you'll see her around all the lives with the the community that we have around here she's just just real real fun fun gal so i appreciate you allowing me to take this off of your hands and add her to my collection thanks so much if you like this video please do like the video comment subscribe share all those things that youtube likes us to do i appreciate you hanging out with me i'll see you in the next one take care bye